this is the partial sums method. It's important to remember that math has vocabulary for a reason. In this case, partial sums describes what we're doing. Partial, parts, sums, the answer for an addition problem. So we're finding the answer for an addition problem in parts. The partial sums algorithm is performed from left to right, column by column. So we'll try out adding 348 plus 177. Step one is to add the hundreds. That is our first column on the left. 300 plus 100 equals 400. The second step is to add the tens. It's important to remember that digits represent numbers. In this case, the 4 in 348 represents 40, and the 7 in the first 7 in 177 equals 70. So in this case, we're adding 40 plus 70, which equals 110. Step 3 is to add the ones. 8 plus 7 is 15. Finally, we'll find the total by adding in our head 400 plus 110 equals 510. 510 plus 15 equals 525. We can try another problem, a little bit easier, 36 plus 42. First, we'll add our tens because that's the first column to the left. We don't need to write down our steps like I did in the first problem. We should be doing these things in our head. So 30 plus 40 equals 70. Now we get to add the second column. 6 plus 2 equals 8. Finally, we get to add 70 plus 8, our partial sums, to find our final sum. 70 plus 8 equals 78. Let's try a harder problem. 1,462 plus 2,016. First, we add 1,000 plus 2,000, 3,000. Then, we add 400 plus 0, 400. Next, we add our tens column, 60 plus 10, which is 70. And finally, we add our ones column, 2 plus 6 equals 8. Now, in our head, we're going to add 3,000 plus 400 is 3,400. 3,400 plus 70 is 3,470. 3,470 plus 8 is 3,478. If we're working with decimals, we get to use partial sums in the exact same way. So we start out by adding 4 plus 3 is 7. Then we add 6 tenths plus 2 tenths equals 8 tenths. And finally, we add 5 hundredths plus 5 hundredths, which is 1 tenth. Now we get to add all the parts. 7 plus 8, 8 tenths is 7 and 8 tenths. 7 and 8 tenths plus 1 tenth is 7 and 9 tenths. Hopefully this helped you to understand partial sums.